Hello, Matu Jamir, you're watching Hornbill TV Spy Midnight, now news and details. The Enforcement Directorate on Wednesday sealed premises of the young Indian in the Congress party-headed National Herald newspaper's office and ordered that the area not be opened without prior permission from the agency. Additional police force has been deployed outside the AICC headquarters in Delhi and 10 Janpat residents of Congress Chief Sonia Gandhi. Sources in the enforcement directorate said that offices of the young Indian were temporarily sealed as there was no one from their site to in whose presence searches could be conducted yesterday and today. According to latest reports, Congress leaders Malikarjun Karge, Salman Khurshid, Digvijaya Singh, P. Chidambaram and others have reached the AICC office. Khurshid told reporters there is no ground for money laundering as there is no money. Regarding the money laundering investigation, we have clearly said that the matter holds no ground because there is no money. If no money is involved, how can there be laundering? Khurshid was quoted by news agency ANI. A temporary seal has been put to preserve the evidence which could not be collected as authorized representatives were not present during the raids on Tuesday. PTI quoted official sources as saying, adding the rest of the National Herald office is open for use. A day ago, the ED conducted raids at the head office of the newspaper in the national capital and 11 other locations as part of an ongoing money laundering investigation in the National Herald AJL Young Indian deal, a week after it questioned Sonia Gandhi. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi departed Taiwan on Wednesday after meeting with the President and other officials in a visit that heightened tensions with China. Pelosi's Taiwan trip has ratcheted up tension between Washington and Beijing despite assurance from the White House that there has been no change in its long-standing one-China policy. Pelosi's visit is being followed very closely around the world and especially in China where the country's microblogging platform, Weibo, briefly crashed as millions discussed and debated her Asia trip. Patriotic fever erupted on Chinese social media over Pelosi's Taiwan visit as many internet users called a more muscular response from the government. Hashtags related to Pelosi's visit, such as the resolve to realize national reunification is rock solid, went viral on China's Weibo microblogging platform. China announced retaliatory live-fire military drill around Taiwan and warned airlines operating in Asia to avoid the airspace designated as danger zones, which the trade-reliant island can amount to be a blockade. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on Wednesday reshuffled her cabinet and inducted nine ministers into her cabinet. Nine ministers including Babu Supriyo, Sneha Sis Chakrabatri, 
Parta Bomik, Udayan Guha, Parti Muzamdir, Dajmul Hussain, Satyajit Barman, Birbaha Hansda and Biblap Roy Chaudhry took oath as ministers with independent charges. Babul Supriyo, Sneshish Chakravarti, Partho Bhamek, Odeyan Goho, Pradeep Majumdar. Ministers of the State, Independent Charge, Bir Baha Hasda, Bipla Brai Chaudhary. Ministers of the State, Tajmul Hossain, Satyajit Burman. Signed, La Ganeshan, Governor of West Bengal, dated 3rd August 2022. May I now request only the ministers in charge designate to rise and take oaths of office and secrecy before the Honorable Governor. Ami, Ami Bharatas Argo Homoto, O Akonata Roka Guribo, Posumongo Raja Motu Rupe, Amar Kotomo Somoho, Lista Purbo, Evang Vivek Somoto Babe Nilbo Koribo, Evang Hoi Ba Pokopa, Priti Ba Vites Rohuya, Sako Senes Donovan Koti, Sangvidan, O Vidio Misare, Major Koribo. The cabinet reshuffled the first since the TMC returned to power for the third consecutive term last year comes amid the party facing the heat over the arrest of senior minister Partha Chatterjee by the ED over the school job scam. Banerjee had on Monday carried out a major overhaul in her party and announced that a cabinet reshuffle will take place on Wednesday. Some portfolios might also be reshuffled among the existing cabinet ministers. Launching the Nagaland Baptist Church Council's clean election movement themed My Vote, My Future, the Chang Baptist Lashong, Tang Yen and Sumi Baptist Akukuhu Kukukulu conducted an exchange program at Suruhoto Town Baptist Church. The pastor of Chang Baptist Church, Dimapu Dr. Wong To Chingmak, also the convener of the CBLT clean election movement, said if the church continues to move this way, the Naga Foundation is strong. He said one of the Naga people's major downfall is in proxy voting, uses of alcohol and drugs, etc. And now I've been observing that if we continue in this way, the collapse of our Naga Foundation is imminent. It is pertinent to note urgently that one of the root causes of our downfall will be the evils of election. These evils that all have known are use of corrupt money, purchase of goods, or for that matter, sell, selling of funds per drive, proxy voting, use of alcohol and drugs, and many unwanted acts. Many hundreds of hands are deep inside the 30 bones of these evils. We must wash our hands and purify our minds for clean hands and clean for this election. Oftentimes, we the churches are being attacked for standing up against social evils, political injustice, and moral failure in the land. The churches are being attacked for rising up to call for justice and mercy in the land. Nevertheless, and however, it is still a call of good concerns. Reverend Achu Chang, Executive Secretary of the CBLT, also spoke on clean election. The church leaders spoke about the strategies the CBLT has adapted to go about with the movement. He had added that the strategies include working with civil society, have open forums for candidates, create slogans from different churches, conduct signature campaigns, etc. Our planning and we have begin also is working together with the civil societies. So as we begin our first meeting, we invited the Chang Bates Codis 
the Jang Tribal Council, the student leaders, women organization, uh, student officers union Jang, and so we had a uh, we had a meeting, and we have also listened to them. What do you think about the churches? What do you want us to do? What what do you want us to do? And so we had a few meetings, and we continue to uh, interact with them, and uh, we will work together. And that was our decision to work alongside with all the civil societies. Uh, second thing, second strategy is to have an open forum for the candidates. Uh, maybe after the uh, filing of nomination, or even filing of no, even before that, if we know that yes, these are people that we are going to be to contest, we will we plan to have an open forum with by the CBLD and also by the civil society together. We have uh, we also plan to. Uh, get slogans from different churches. The local churches can come up with their own slogans in, their own, in our own dialect and that will be displayed in different places. And so that is uh, one of the strategies. 19 undergraduate toppers, 14 subject toppers and 9 gold medalists from Kohima Science College were felicitated today during the 43rd Foundation Day of the Old Nagaland College Students' Union. The event was conducted at the Muluki Conference Hall in Kohima. Speaking at the program, Dr. Midongoi Rako asked the students to not rest on their laurels. If they don't give more efforts beyond this and stay complacent with this achievement, their friends will take their achievements as mere luck and not real success, he said. Because of this, you see, I would like to remind of all of us, economic development begins with human mind and ends with the human mind. So it is the mindset, it is because of the system we fail to implement the policies and the planning which are there in the government. That is why we see, but many of us, we used to blame the wrong policies, the wrong planning. I don't see anything as such wrong. It is wonderful when you read all those policies and planning in the paper. Everything. Controller of Examination Dr. Mong Sangpa urged the students to constantly search for knowledge. Stating that the subject topics are second to none, he urged the students to strive for excellence. Asking them to look beyond for greater achievements, he said people will look down on them if they cannot go beyond this achievement. Those who have joined Nagaland University or any other university, 1919 to 2022, to 2022. When corona situation was improving, pandemic situation was... But unfortunately, some students went to the street saying that they should write online examination. And even that time, I saw Ansu playing a very proactive role in trying to stop them not to go on education. Because they know, and I know, University will never buckle under pressure because we are accountable to university, university grant commission, and the situation has improved drastically by that time. See, try to capitalize out of a very bad situation. This is a very good result, and the university authority was so lenient, considering the fact that this batch of students was affected considerably during the pandemic. Having said that, I want to congratulate all the achievers of 2022. 
Delivering the presidential speech, the president of the ANCU, Toito Di Chishi, said students and youths are the strongest pillars of the society. Therefore, he said it is imperative to identify, understand and address pertinent issues and challenges being faced by the people today. Minister for Rural Development with Sipu Jamir today inaugurated the Kumlong Warch Sub-Center Building Extension in Mukokchum. Addressing the inaugural program, the minister informed that the upgradation of sub-center to health and wellness center has finalized as aspired by the residents of Kumlong. Also speaking at the program, Chief Medical Officer said that Kumlong is one of the biggest wards in the Mukokchung Municipal Area and the sub-centre acts as a referral point for many senior citizens in Mukokchung Town. covers the entire cut districts in the country. However, this is constrained to poverty index of the district. You just can't, cannot pass everything and anything, but you have to take into consideration certain issues like education, skill development, basic amenities, and human centric schemes. It should be more, not really big programs, but district specific district require capacities that may put it's a feeling. Gap feeling arrangement for those districts that are of minority. Now, one issue that comes up here is who is minority? The guideline says the minority is not population centric. The problem with Nagaland is in Nagaland, Nagas are not minorities. We are the majority. So this thing is a few clarification. We have minorities like Garo, Kachari in the Mongolian area, but I don't know how far we can access these privileges to Navas, who are the dominant population in the state. This issue is there. Christians are a minority in the country, but in Navas, they are the dominant. So certain issues have to be unclarified and we are waiting for clarification. However, because of the public reaction towards the previous compilation that has been fixed, basing on 21, 22 guidelines, the district was not included. But now it covers all districts, so this will you respect to our honorable chairman, his initiative. We are here today. We should all take advantage of this. We legislators also will submit our own constituency wise requirements. At HODs also, you, are, you should submit your basic needs in your own departments. And that will be examined and screened out. So you are all here, I think the basic thing is to also be better inclusive of selection of skills students. So kindly take note that just don't accept what has been given to you, but we need your feedback on whatever you require in the district. I think that we are more important than we thinking that what you need, we are giving. So on that basis, I think we should be proactive. In collaboration with the Northeast Zone Cultural Center at Dimapur, the Long Chok Sendin of Ungwa conducted its 37th edition of Subali Basayu. Roughly translated cultural display competition in Ungma village of Mukokchung district on Monday. Altogether, about nine clubs from Ungma village participated in the annual cultural folk dance competition. United Soyam Club emerged as the champions of the competition, while Long Chok Sentin Club backed the runners up position. <laughs>
Minister for PWT Housing and Mechanical Tongpang Wazakam, who was the chief guest at the event, lauded the Long Trok Sendant for their efforts in promoting the cultural heritage of the community and preserving the sacred traditions and customs of the forefathers for the next generation. Also, speaking at the program, Raren Pinba, a Tatar of Uma, said that the aim of the competition was to help preserve our culture and tradition for the future generations. The Vice President of All Sumi Students Union has taken charge as President of the organization as resolved and directed by Sumi Frontal Organizations. With the decision of all the GBs and Unit Presidents of the Sumi Kipimi Kukukalu SKK, the Sumi Hoho has inducted Nito Jimomi as the President of the SKK at the Sumi Hoho Ki on August 3. Updates received here on Tuesday stated. The new President Nito Jimomi spoke about bringing unity to the Sumi community and standing for the community. Bilahana Mona, Shulahana Monamu, Al Hona, Atala Hippo, Nits Pepai Kulo, New Lakilla, Simeki Katave Monen, Simeok Bove Monen, Simeakum Lavene, Hakakish Monen, Ekemo, Kutbo Cubs, Sim Kuperono, Mlanani, Itanani, Pianapi, Shanapi, New Tisweki Bukumaka. I give you a new, a summon you. A Raja give him a new, a Raja summon you. Anna, this is a sim shocking the honor. New will put one. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.